Hey guys, Amber Lee's here. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be doing a one month update on the iShow Malaysian straight hair. I currently have installed a 22 inch um, closure, a 26 inch bundle and two 28 inch bundles. I have already done a unboxing video on this hair as well as a one week update of when I first got the hair installed to give you all my um, kind of initial thoughts of the hair. And now obviously I'm coming back doing a follow up to that and I'm also at the end of this video going to be including some either pictures or maybe video clips of the hair when it is curled or in a kind of curl state and so just to show you all whether or not the hair does curl and how well it holds a curl so if you're interested in that then definitely stay tuned and so I'm not even going to pause I'm just going to hop right into it where I'm going to be giving you pros and cons of the eye show hair so first let me just say that um I am not sponsored this is not a sponsored video I paid for for all of this hair um, with my own money. So like I told you, I have in the Malaysian straight hair. And so I would say that the first pro of this hair is that it was um, true to length. At first I was having some doubts that the hair wasn't true to length when I first pulled it out. So that was definitely a pro. And Malaysian hair is known to be thick. So I can say that the hair is pretty thick and it has held up well because I forgot to order or do the four bundle deal instead of the three because you know when you have longer inches, the hair does come in thinner bundles. So for the three bundles that I have along with the closure, I can say that this hair is pretty thick to keep my hair from looking too thin. So I will... um towards the middle or end of this video turn around and show you guys kind of like the thickness of the hair what the hair kind of looks like and so that is definitely a pro another pro is that the hair does bounce back pretty well whenever you um wash it so i usually go about a week before washing my hair but sometimes i have to go a little bit longer depending on what my schedule is looking like so i use the garnier fructi shampoo as well as the conditioner because that is the um, shampoo conditioner that i use for all of my weaves and it is the only one that pretty much kind of that i have found that works the best so whenever i try to use anything else the hair kind of gets not necessarily matted, but it does tangle and it is not as soft as it normally is. So I can say overall that if this hair gets pretty, you know, on the kind of stiffer side from, you know, like the natural oils coming, you know, coming through the hair, then it does bounce back pretty well. Um, the cons are going to be that this hair does shed a lot. And I know a lot of you are thinking like, oh, you know, your hair is supposed to shed anyway, so you're going to get some shedding, but this is a little bit more than the normal amount of shedding. And I'm also going to insert a picture here to show you um, all kind of what I'm talking about. And so the picture that you just saw, that type of shedding is the type of shedding that I get every day. I don't get this like every so many days. Like I get this amount of shedding every time I run my brush through the hair, as well as even if I use a comb, I still get the same amount of shedding, if not more. So usually I don't like to use paddle brushes because I know that it does have a lot of wear and tear on the closures, but Usually when I wake up in the morning, I have to use a paddle brush to kind of get through the hair because it does kind of, um, it, it is kind of hard to get through the bottom, like the ends of the hair whenever I'm, you know, first getting up or whatever. So this shedding that you saw, I get this kind of shedding every day. And for me, that's not normal. Usually with my, um, my hair, I don't really get that amount of shedding. I don't get the type of shedding. So I think that that is a bit excessive and I don't know if it would have made a difference if I would have sealed my wefts because that is something that I usually do when I do buy hair. So I have another set of hair, which is the water wave hair, and I am considering sealing those wefts to see if that is going to make any difference with the amount of shedding and so once i install that hair i obviously will come back and tell you guys if there's any kind of difference with that so that is definitely a con for me i don't mind shedding at all like i said i understand that hair does shed every day but to get that amount of shedding like that daily and whenever i run a brush or a comb through it i'm getting excessive amounts of shedding i don't think that that is something that i would like for my hair to do so that is definitely the first um con the second con that i would probably say about this hair is that 
I dyed this hair jet black. So usually when you dye your hair, you know, lighter color, sometimes you will get the kind of feeling at the ends of your hair where it kind of becomes rougher because you, you know, either bleached it or you've lightened it, which kind of roughens up the hair a bit. And so, um, you probably, I mean, you obviously can't see it because the ends don't really look bad or anything. But if you, if you could feel this, this hair has a bit of a rougher texture to it. And um, Malaysian hair is known to be, like I said, thicker, but I have ordered Malaysian hair from other companies and I have never experienced this and I have dyed my hair with the same products and I have dyed the hair the same way. So I will say that that is definitely a con. I don't like the feel of this hair as far as like the ends. I'm, I have kind of been able to um well i will say it's not as bad when i first wash the hair like whenever it's time for me to wash the hair again but of course midweek towards the end of the week it kind of gets that kind of rougher texture so i'm not a big fan of that but overall if i had to rate the hair out of a 10 i would give it a solid eight because i will go ahead and tell you now that um, in the next clip, like I said, I'm going to be showing you all whether or not the hair does hold a curl. And so this hair doesn't hold a curl with, well without setting lotion. So if you don't have anything to kind of set your curl, then it's not going to hold it. But I feel like a lot of different other, um, companies that I've ordered from as well as my own natural hair, um, if you don't set it, then it kind of doesn't hold, you know, as long as you want it to. So that it like if you wanted to know could you just you know hot curl the hair or could you flex it out the hair without any type of setting lotion i don't recommend that because your curls are going to drop um pretty much before you leave the house that's the experience that i had so like i said i use setting lotion and when i do that the curls are nice they do hold all day and so i'm going to insert some clips of just kind of what my hair looks like after i um use the setting lotion and then, you know, go throughout the day. Okay, so this is me just showing you guys what my hair looks like once it has been curled. I did go ahead and flex it around my hair this way. Um, I have used a curling iron, but however, I will go ahead and tell you now that this hair does not hold a curl well at all whenever you use a curling iron. And obviously you can't use stuff like setting spray because you can't wet the hair down with the setting spray and then put the heat on it because obviously it's going to burn the hair. So definitely a no as far as using a um curling iron. You still obviously can get the hair to curl up, but Typically for me, whenever I have tried to use that, my hair dropped way before I even left the house. So um, I'm, I wouldn't recommend using that if you are trying to find curl or if you are trying to get curls that are going to last you all day. But for this look here, I just basically threw in a couple of flexi rods last night. And I'm going to go ahead and show you the setting spray that I mentioned earlier, which is by Lot of Body. This is the setting spray that I have been using to curl my hair. So it is the Lotta Body with coconut and shea oils. And you can pretty much get this anywhere at Walmart, Sally's. And I'm pretty sure you can even find this at your local beauty supply store. So just one more look at that. So the clip that I'm going to insert is just going to be what my hair looks like directly after me taking the flexor rods out. And it's not going to look really too much different from what you see now. However, I did go ahead and kind of separate the curls just a little bit. I didn't want to manipulate my hair too much because I didn't want to um, disturb the curls or cause them to fall because I haven't flexor rodded this hair at all. I've only um, braided my hair down and added the perm rods like I told you at the beginning of the video. So this is my first time flexor riding the hair and I didn't know how well it was going to hold up. So I'm going to go ahead and insert that clip now. So as you saw, that's what the hair looked like whenever I took them directly out. And then this is the hair after I've kind of like played around with it and pulled them apart a bit. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what the hair looks like from the back with me um, taking the curls and kind of manipulating them just a tad bit. So 
So that is pretty much it for this portion. I am going to go ahead and come back later and I'll probably just insert a picture to show you guys what these curls look like after, um, at the end of the day to see did they hold up or did they not hold up. And so, um, I'm going to go ahead, like I said, and just add maybe a picture or two of what the hair looks like. And then I'm also going to come back and show you guys probably on video as well as picture of that style that I was telling you about that kind of gave me a water wave or like a natural wave kind of look whenever I just kind of braid the hair down and add the flexi rod. So I am going to do that tonight so that I can come back and show you guys what that style looks like and what that curl kind of looks like and how well the hair does hold with that. And so until then, I will see you later. Okay, so I went ahead and filmed an actual video of me actually doing this style. If you're like me, I'm more of a visual person. So I wanted to be able to give you all a video showing you how I actually achieved this look. And this is by far my favorite way to wear this hair. I get so many compliments on it. So I'm definitely going to be linking that above once that video comes out in maybe two or three days following this video to show you all exactly how I was able to achieve this style. So by the end of the day, this hair definitely drops, but as you can see, the wave is still very pretty. And so I like to do this every night. I will redo or replat down my hair so that my hair can be fresh in the morning. And also I find that this hairstyle looks even better as the week goes on and after I keep, you know, redoing it. So I don't worry too much about the hair falling in the evening because I know that night I am going to be redoing it. So overall, I will say that I don't have any negative feelings as far as like, I don't think that this hair is just horrible. Like I would order more. I would obviously wear this hair again, but outside of the shedding, that's the biggest thing that I don't really like too much about the hair. But outside of that, like I said, the hair is pretty much fine. So I would definitely recommend, you know, giving this hair a shot and um, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what my hair looks like now, um, as far as like the thickness of it.